Hello, my name is Mitch Luciano. I am the CEO of Trailer Bridge. We are a light asset-based logistics company uh, servicing Puerto Rico for over 30 years. Uh, over the past uh, six years, we've built our platform even bigger with all of our offices throughout the United States and providing our clients with truckload, intermodal rail or air services and less than truckload services uh, throughout all of North America, but predominantly here in the United States. And we have offices from the west coast of LA all the way across to Raleigh, North Carolina and north and south of there. And so there's opportunities abound everywhere. I've been in the logistics industry for just about 26 years. People say, what do you do? I'm like, well, I'm in logistics. And they go, what, what is logistics? I go, well, easiest way for me to describe it to you is I buy and sell space on trains, trucks, and planes. And logistics, every single thing you have in your life is supported by logistics. It has to start somewhere and get into your home. And so whether that's the raw materials uh, to make the, uh, the table that's sitting in front of me, or the truck that brings the table from the manufacturer to the office or to your home, that every single piece of every transaction or everything we see in this world, had logistics plays a role in it. I've had the great opportunity to have multiple roles in logistics, which is one of the greatest things about our industry is your growth is dependent on you and what you want to do and where you want to go. And for me, I've, I've had that. I've got to see the world. I've got to see a lot of the United States and live in different parts. And I would never take it back. Um, it's been something that I look back and I, I'm so glad that I applied for that job back in June of 1997 and they hired me because here I am today um, leading an amazing group of people and very fortunate for the roles that I've had along the way. I would now like to introduce you to Mr. Eric Masati, a longtime friend who I hired out of college myself almost just over 20 years ago and he and I are still together today and we have a great bond between the two of us. Hello, thank you, Mitch, for that warm introduction. Uh, I am Eric Masati here at Trailer Bridge for the I'm president of our logistics group. And we've got Jason Angel. Hi, Jason Angel, I'm the manager of strategic accounts here at the Jacksonville office. And we're going to have a conversation about our journey and career in logistics and share our experiences and hopefully get some live questions from you. We've got the, the chat. I think it's up and running. So feel free to throw in some questions, comments. Tell us if you like our shirts or don't like our shirts. <laughs> I appreciate anyone that's tuned in. I was my son as I was walking out this morning. He said, hey, you got a, a webinar today, dad. And I'm like, yeah, I guess I, the power of social media and the internet. He knew about this without me telling him. But his next comment was, do you really think anyone's going to attend your conversation? Um, so anyone that is proving my son Ellis wrong, I do really appreciate it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with a our kind of story and journey, how we got into logistics. And so Jason is up first. Yeah, first off, I'd like to thank everybody for joining in. Um, really appreciate it. Um, well, basically my story, you know, I, I kind of started out in my early 20s uh, in the construction industry. You know, I, I did that for many years. Um, it was something that I enjoyed, but I really didn't see myself kind of continuing in that direction. Um, so I kind of wanted to create a path for myself. And uh, what I started out with, I signed up at UNF, um, went into their business program. University North, of North Florida. University of North Florida. I wanted to make sure, you know, I was going into their business program because that's kind of what I, I wanted to do is in that direction. Something in the, the line of business. You're a business person. I'm a very business saying. person. Business on my mind. Um, so what I did was I had a bunch of friends that um, were majoring in transportation logistics. At the time, I had no idea what transportation logistics was. It was kind of just like, oh, what, what does this mean? Like, you know, we're just dealing with trucks or what, what does this mean? So I started digging into it more, signed up for a couple of classes at UNF, um, also joined the Transportation Logistics Society. Um, that's a good outlet there at U uh, University of North Not Florida. Not a cult though, right? It's Not just, a cult, Okay, no. I don't know. Societies kind of get a little <laughs> iffy for me. <laughs> that is true. Okay. They call it TLS for short. Okay, okay. So, signed up for there. Um, went on a couple of different trips with them, different uh, different companies around the, the Jacksonville area. Um, notable one was the Johnson & Johnson factory um, that I went to, I believe it's still there. Um, it was a good experience. It was, it was some warehousing that was involved in that, kind of the operations end of it. It was, it was kind of very intriguing for me. Um, so I decided to, to major in transportation and logistics. Um, 
so headed in that direction, you know, I, I was looking for something that, you know, I, I wanted to be a part of something that was going to be meaningful work, something that, you know, had a lot of value to it. Um, just so happened, I, I came across Trailer Bridge, um, was located about 10 minutes down the road from me. I, I came in here, um, met with Trevor Bear up uh, to interview me. Thought they were all a bunch of great people in that office. You know, we're that just, was the first reaction. That yeah, was okay. With Trevor Bear, yes. Just starting. Love out. you, Trevor. Love you, Trevor. The logistics department was just kind of starting out, so there wasn't many people um, that were involved in it. So I, I thought it would be a good opportunity for me. And you know, eight years later, I mean, here I am, still in That's logistics great. and, 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 and still in trailer and promotion in the last year. You, uh, you manage our strategic accounts. Correct. So, yep. I, uh, well, going from there, I started out, you know, just kind of um, booking freight, dispatching, went into account management. Um, I also oversaw our transfer business here at Trailer Bridge. Um, and then I got a promotion about a year ago uh, doing strategic accounts. I basically oversee all of the customer accounts here at Trailer Bridge uh, for our logistics office. Um, kind of helps me, uh, you know, have better oversight of everything, trying to help the accounts grow build better relationships with our customers and uh, just make sure on an operational standpoint that we're, we're providing the best service that we can for them. You've really been on this journey for quite a while then it sounds like. I have. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's been a great journey. You know, I, I would never change it for anything. Okay. Um, you know, logistics is something that I am passionate about. You know, it's, 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 it's something where, like I said, it, you know, I, I think anybody that goes into a career, they're looking for something that, that that they want to feel like they're important, like they have value in their company. Um, and I think just with logistics, like Mitch said, you know, everything that we do, every every item that we have in this room, every item you have in your house, it involves logistics. It's it's something that is so essential to everything that we do in life that it, it makes it that much more important. That's cool. Great story. What about you? I, you've got an interesting story. Right? Well, I mean, I think Mitch already told my story. I feel like, what, what, what am I going to say? I mean, geez, doesn't say anything for me. No, um, I, I was very fortunate uh, over 20 years ago. Um, I was at a business school at UNC Chapel Hill. Well, I guess first, I mean, because we've got a bunch of Trailer Bridge people on. If we have any that are not from Trailer Bridge or have maybe you've stumbled upon our LinkedIn post. Uh, we are a transportation and logistics company, as you can probably tell based on what we've been talking about. But we've got a variety of different departments and divisions here. We service um, our, our core business, which was the company's founding. We service the Caribbean. Um, we have uh, ocean vessels, containers. We have a driver network here in Jacksonville, and we send containers twice a week, southbound and twice a week. Rico, we service Caribbean islands. Um, Dominican Republic and U.S. Virgin Islands and other islands as well. Um, and then we have a, a few other divisions that have all started up in the last decade. Um, our domestic division, um, our logistics group, has 10 offices across the U.S. They focus on full truckload, intermodal, and LTL across the U.S., North or North America, so Mexico and Canada. LTL is less than truckload. Oh, yes. Yeah, less uh, than truckload uh, division. So full truckload is kind of what it sounds like LTL being um, shipments that are they're bigger than um, like a parcel shipment but they're going to be much smaller um, than, than the full truckload um, and intermodal which I kind of went over quickly too is, is a rail shipment and so we um, we service all those domestically Mexico US uh, we also have an NVOCC group which services international locations outside of our, our ocean assets to the Caribbean um, and we've got a, a government group that, that kind of services government agencies all over the world, our government agencies all over the world, servicing all of those different um, service offerings. Like FEMA shipments, uh, you know, natural disasters and stuff like that help, help bring product to different areas. Exactly. Thank you. And so, and then back to, I guess, my story, I, I was, uh, I, I applied for, I don't know, a bunch of people um, where I went to school, got finance, banking jobs. And so I'd apply to a bunch of those and, and I stumbled upon a transportation and logistics company, not Trailer Bridge. This was 20 plus years ago. Um, and uh, it was uh, NYK, a Japanese steamship had a domestic division. And it just sounded somewhat more interesting to me than banking. And I happened to meet Mitch in the interview and you know, I've got an Italian last name. He has an Italian last name. I don't know. I, I was like, man, is this La Costa Nostra or what is this? I was interested in that. And um, we, we seem to have a good bond. And I've been very fortunate um, that I've been, me and him have worked 
um, four different companies together now. And so we've, we've kind of had an entrepreneurship journey. Um, and so I, I just kind of got into it. I didn't, I wasn't exactly sure. I took an, I took an operations class in college and uh, I think we spent one day on supply chain. Was the, my entire business degree was one day on supply chain. Nice. I'm confident today they're, they're spending a little more time on supply chain, but I thought that that one day was an interesting day and I got started um, entry level employee. I, you know, I think that's one of the things I think Trailer Bridge is a really asset to Trailer Bridge is most of the leadership started at entry level positions in yeah. transportation. And so um, I was dispatching drivers. Uh, and so I, I did that. And from there, I managed accounts. From there, I sold customers. I got to visit customers, vendors, partners all over the country and um, have kind of taken me on, on a, a few different paths. I And I was able to join here about five years ago. And we have been focused on growth. And uh, it's been an exciting ride. Okay, we're going to... That's our story, which we, we we actually probably wasted way too much time doing. But you know, we're trying. We're trying. This right. is this is Trailer Bridge's first webinar. It's not our fifth webinar, so we're 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 making do. Um, what's what's a day in the life like for you? And keep on asking questions. We'll, we'll get to those here in a moment. Yeah, absolutely. Ask questions. Um, I mean, day in the life for me. Um, you know, it's it's kind of about especially someone new. So so I, I you know so say. Mm -hmm. You know, we have we're fortunate. We've been adding staff in, in all of our offices across the country. What that that new person that starts their first month? What are some of the things that they're going to experience? Well, I, th I think uh, coming into the logistics the domestic group um, in particular, um, kind of going to see when you come in. You know, you're going to you're going to be learning how to talk to drivers. You're going to be learning how to talk to customers. You know, it's it's about learning the lingo, um, learning how to communicate provide updates, you know, answering emails. Um, it's going to be a lot of that. And, and the thing about it is, is we're very customer centric. You know, we're always focused on providing the best service for our customers. So it's going to be about checking those deliveries, make sure drivers are on time for pickup, um, you know, communicating back with the customer for updates when needed, um, just making sure the freight gets moved. You know, uh, that's, that's kind of what, what this is all about. Um, but, you know, we, we take a lot of pride in, in making sure we get our customers freight moved and, you know, at, at the end of the day, when, you know, you're moving 100 plus shipments, you know, and you make sure that your customers uh, are served properly and you, you've done a great job at the end of the day. That's that's really what it comes down to. Uh, you know, we love and who are successful at this. It's a very fast paced job. I mean, one of the comments that people say in transportation is no, no two days are the same. Absolutely. And so, you know, that's if you have that kind of go getter personality. Um, I think it's great because I had no experience in transportation. Yeah, you had no real experience. And so it's not something we, we, we hire people with experience when we need specific needs, but we also um, love to hire people with no experience. Sometimes they have college degrees like we do. Sometimes they, they come from service industry. Absolutely. I mean, you know, people sitting around me, I mean, I, I have a degree in transportation logistics, but there are plenty of people around me that don't even have a degree in transportation logistics. Yeah. You know, they, they come in some are, some come in from being bartenders. You know, those those type of people do well, um, but it's the ones that, I, in my opinion, are the ones that can be successful are the ones that really know how to communicate, really can and, and communicate in a very uh, team team environment. You know, that's kind of how we do things in the offices. We're always collaborating with each other, trying to make sure we're getting the job done correctly. We're never on an island. We got a question. Okay, here we go. Advice: Where to start right out of school. Um, you know, I think you're just trying to gain experience. Personally, I would not focus on money right out of school. I, I, I know that may come off as I'm, I'm, I'm a president, but I promise you I was 20 something salary in the case something when I started. Um, it was 20 years ago. It's not the same as it is today. And try to try to get experiences. So I mean, and, and if if you, you're interested in transportation logistics, I would tell you I think it's obviously a great career path because I spent my entire career in it. Um, just search jobs. You you want something that provides lots of different experiences. So I wouldn't do something that's just driver dispatch. I wouldn't do something yeah. that's just tracking and tracing. I would look for something that's got five or six different elements that you're going to get to see. Maybe the customer side, um, maybe, maybe at a carrier dealing with partner, carrier, driver, you want to do a variety of different things. Um, let's see. I've got another question. 
Most challenging part. Most, most challenging you start part. with that one. I mean, I would say probably the most challenging part is, I mean, you know, when you're shipping product, you're, when you're when you're working with transportation, transportation, everything is a deadline. Um, I think that is the most difficult part is because you are under a little bit of pressure at, at some yeah. times, depending on the time of year, that, you know, you've got a little bit of pressure underneath you to make sure your customer's freight's moving. That does put a, you know, Problems. Make things a little there's, bit more there's, difficult. There is problems. There and there's are problems, problems every single day. And so if you, you, you do have to learn you're doing your best job to solve the problem, customers appreciate that. Can you come up with a different strategy to get a solution? And being creative, you'd be amazed at all the different ways you can solve something. And everyone has the capability of doing that. And, and so I think that would be a great place, you know, in terms of challenging. Let's see. We'll go with the Jason question. Most fulfilling part or? Yeah, what are the most uh, fulfilling? What's the most fulfilling uh, thing when working in logistics? I mean, for me, like I, like I kind of mentioned before, you know, it's just a, it's a very satisfying um, uh, role uh, in logistics of, of knowing that, you know, when you go to the grocery store, all the product that you see on the shelves, the full shelves you, you, know, you see at the grocery store, all the product is available to you, you know, back, Back in, I think it was 2017, uh, we had Hurricane Maria, I believe that hit uh, Puerto Rico. Um, you know, that's the area that we service, it hit them pretty bad. You know, it's very fulfilling to know that we were shipping down container after container of bottled water down to those people down there in Puerto Rico. It just means so much that you're helping people out, um, doing those type of acts of, you know, making sure the product gets to where it's going. And, and you know, those people are in need. You know, and, and, I, and it's the same thing with just moving domestic shipments here. You know, the product is getting where it needs to go. Sometimes it's very important product that, you know, it, it is a high urgency to get there. And you know that you're, you're taking a part of that to make sure that product gets there. And, and there's also a real fulfilling side of watching employees and staff grow with, with responsibilities and seeing the best version of themselves. I mean, that's, that's the most fulfilling part for me is I've done this quite a while and I've seen employees go from entry level to making six figures plus salaries Absolutely. and having responsibilities and it's great final question we've got come to the end they haven't shut us off at least i don't believe so so i think that means we've done okay i'll yeah, take that we're well. not getting yeah. cut off was the goal um what are the qualities of a successful person in logistics i mean a have fun i think having fun yeah. is a positive environment that creates for everyone and i have like a my favorite word to use is probably grit in terms of who, what makes someone successful. Are you the type of person that's going to win, you know, competitive and you're willing to, to do, go the final step? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I kind of compound off of that. It's kind of somebody with a high energy. I mean, it, 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 it is a fast paced industry, but you know, you're willing to come in and you know, like you said, put the work in and do well for yourself. I mean, it, it's a great career to be in. I mean, I love it. Eric loves it. I mean, it's just, it's a great career. We've got the light blinking telling us that we're, we're running out of time here, but uh, final thoughts for me, um, I, you know, Hey, I have a LinkedIn profile. If you guys have any questions or any, I can be of service. If you're here at trailer bridge, if you're thinking about trailer bridge, if you're thinking about something else, I'd be happy to share my story um, to see if I can help you along your journey. I, you know, if I really believe most people don't realize their full capabilities. And as a, a manager and a leader of an organization, I'm trying to convince them most of the time that they're capable of way more than they can even imagine. And I want to help get them there. And I'm confident that every one of you here listening to the webinar has so much more ability than maybe you even realize. And I hope that you find a way to fulfill it. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll kind of piggyback off of that too. I mean, if anybody has any questions for me as well, you can hit me up on LinkedIn. Uh, you know, anybody going through college or at UNF or whatever it may be, please advice, you know, going into the logistics uh, career, um, let me know. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, just a compound, like what, what Eric said. I mean, that's kind of how Just what I said. Yeah, just what I said. We'll just, we'll go with that. But we're, we're, we're wrapped. We've got a couple things coming up. So I'll thank you for everyone attending. Please continue to watch. We're going to have two video stories from both Kyle Olson, who is our manager in our Kansas City office, who started this job just three, four years ago from, a, from working as a bartender yes. um, and has had grown in leaps and bounds and runs in our fastest growing office in Kansas City. And then we got Justin Holmes, who is probably the exact opposite of Kyle. 
uh, is a science, is a biology major, chemistry major. I apologize, and is is very analytical and is um, an absolute hero for our Raleigh team. And I've worked with him for about a decade, and he's a he's even a better person. And then after that, so that you get to hear their great stories. We've got Indy and Amber, who are going to be next in the these hot the hot seats we call them, and um, they're going to do a great job to tell their story. All right, we really appreciate it, and please continue to watch. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. My name is Justin Holmes. I'm the Operations Manager for the Raleigh Branch Office, and I've been with Trailer Bridge for three years now. I have my degree in chemistry. I received that from Western Carolina University. Uh, I got into chemistry because I liked working in the lab environment, and it was something that at the time really interested me. Um, it's very detail-oriented, which is what I like and kind of where I thrive. Previously, before Trailer Bridge, I was doing lab work, um, and part of my job was to maintain the warehouse and samples that we had and ship them out to our different vendors. Um, so from there, I kind of got to see the logistics side of things. I recently became the manager for the Raleigh branch office and my responsibilities have shifted. I'm less focused on sales and more on operations now. Um, teaching my team how to manage and grow their accounts more and be more effective with communicating with their customers. I think what I enjoy most about it is teaching our newer guys the ins and outs of logistics and that moment where it kind of clicks for them and they take their own accounts and kind of start growing and working with it and finding find out what works for them for that account. It's, it's exciting. Trailer Bridge has offered a lot of different resources and tools to help promote growth, not with just me, but with everyone in the company. Um, one of the things that we do that I love is the smart meetings. Uh, there's always a different opportunity to learn different parts about what we actually do as a company as a whole. And it's refreshing and nice to see and attend, be able to attend those meetings, ask any kind of questions you may have and being given an open and honest answer. Uh, this past year I won the President's Award and uh, it made me feel invigorated um, just to be noticed and to be appreciated for all the effort that I, effort and time that I put into doing what we do and helping us grow as a company. What I love most about working at Trailer Bridge is the people. Um, the culture that we've cultivated and that we are growing, um, it's just, it's genuine, it's feel good. Um, it makes you happy, makes you want to come to work. If I had to describe my experience at Trailer Bridge, I would say it's been life changing. Uh, my name is Kyle Olson and I am in sales and operations. I was recently promoted to branch manager for Kansas City, and I started in transportation about two and a half years ago. Prior to Trailer Bridge, I was a bartender at Chili's, um, and then I served before that. So I was like, I went to server and then got promoted to bartender. While I was a bartender at Chili's, I attended school at Purdue uh, University. I did the online school there, um, and I pursued a Bachelor of Science in Communications. Um, and I think that communication. Uh, is a lot what this job requires. I think that how you talk to carriers, customers, your peers that you work with, and your management team and executives, it all matters. When I first started here, I didn't know what to expect. Um, it was kind of one of those things where I'm just gonna take the job and, and I'm gonna make the best out of it. Um, and then once I started kind of getting my first bits of commission, I was like, I, I, I could probably make a living out of this. I always wanted more from my job. And the thing is with the service industry, I will say that there's there's only so much you can do at, at, at a restaurant, you know, where you can become a, a manager of that restaurant. But I knew that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to stay in the food industry. Um, and so switching to transportation and finding that ladder to climb, um, it was, that was the right thing to do. Yeah, 
the biggest thing that I gain from being a bartender is time management. So like when you're behind the bar, you have, let's say 10 bar guests and you need five of them need drinks. So you need to just kind of know what they're drinking already and then go to the well and make their drinks. So I think that that correlates to our industry now as right. We have three modes of things that we do in our office, account managing, booking and sales and being able to time manage all that. Trailer Bridge was kind enough to invite me to join their leadership program. In this program, um, we learn about different ways, different styles of leadership. And I think it goes beyond that to talk more about um, just being better humans, I guess, if you will. And, and it shows that it's a company that matters and it cares. And it makes me want to strive. It makes me want to strive to be better, a better person, a better individual, a better employee, get that next big sales account, book that next load. You know, it, it really, it really makes it make sense in my head that I have this company that's backing me um, to make me want to go out and do more. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm a man of, of like names and stature and things like that, but like being a branch manager, that's that's huge. That is a big deal. And the fact that it was given to me, it's uh, I'm passionate about it. That's all I'll say. I, I'm very passionate about this promotion and this job and making sure that I fulfill all the responsibilities that are being passed to me. And, and I think that this opportunity is amazing. I couldn't even have here, honestly. Hey, everybody. Uh, first of all, thank you, Eric and Jason, for the wonderful introduction and for your time. I know I enjoyed watching it, and I'm sure all of you did. And I, you know, I should thank you first for all joining us today, as they did. We are very excited to tell you a lot about the industry that we love, and we're certainly grateful to be a part of. I'd like to first start by telling you a little bit about me. My name's Indy, as I said, Indy Bowman, and I'm the Chief People Officer here at Trailer Bridge. I'm a little different from um, Eric, but have a little bit more in common with Jason is I did not come from logistics background. I actually came more from a tech and engineering background, doing what I do, but came from that background and fa fascinating and honestly very cool and very fun to step into the world of transportation and logistics. Uh, joining me, I certainly want to turn this over and let you meet Amber for a moment. Yeah, hi, uh, my name is Amber Grant. I work in talent acquisition and uh, it's so funny uh, you bring that up because I also didn't come from logistics and you know I think that's such a cool part about this industry is you can come from so many different backgrounds and, and land here. But uh, after being in logistics, I, I suppose now it's been about five or six years uh, altogether. Oh gosh, maybe even six or seven time flies, right? But um, I think after being in it this long, I, I, I can't say I'd ever want to leave it. It's just such a fun industry to be in. And I know we're going to talk a little bit more about that. We are. Yeah. Eric, Eric mentioned the fun. I think Jason did too. And it certainly is that and it is fast paced. There's a lot of reasons to join logistics. I, th I think some of the things rather that I noticed that it's a thriving industry. Right now, estimates are that it's a $2.2 trillion industry just for the U.S. alone, and estimated to grow to $13 trillion grow globally, rather, by 2027. So we're excited to hear that, and we love that, that it is growing, that it does offer a lot of opportunities uh, for people who want to step into it. It is a necessary industry, as the gentleman mentioned before us, and Mitch as well. Everything in this room, and probably those of you are watching from home or from your office or workstation, most of the stuff you're probably looking at and working on right now at some point was touched uh, by a transportation and logistics firm. And we want to flip over just a little bit to talk about, as Amber mentioned, some of those other departments and roles. It's, it's a business like any other, so there are a lot of other roles. So not only would you not have to be a part of the logistics industry to get in and to be very successful, you could be a part of any other industry that supports a business. That could be marketing, human resources, training and development, maintenance, uh, finance. Am I missing anything, Amber? Accounting. Gosh, I mean, the list goes on. Anything IT, that, yeah, all IT, that. Anything, yeah. anything that really goes into running any type of business in, in departments across that business um, are going to be careers within the logistics industry and at Trailer Bridge, of course. Um, but yeah, that, and that's kind of the cool part. I think a lot of people... I don't think about when you hear the word logistics is 
it's you know such a thriving industry. I think what was that number? Is it three tr trillion that it's going to reach by twenty twenty seven? Globally thirteen. Th thirteen. Wow, gosh, that's even more than I, I was know. thinking. We are <laughs> available for yeah. us. Yes, but you know, with an industry that's that's that large. Um, Gosh, think of all the opportunities and all the all the companies in that industry where there's going to just be so many needed needed functions right. like accounting, Absolutely. finance, and HR. So, Absolutely, yeah. and as Eric said, some of us have degrees, some of us don't. Some of us came from a logistics background, some of us don't. That's not necessarily those uh, those pieces of paper, which I honor very much. Degrees and the effort that goes into that, they aren't necessary to be successful in this industry. Uh, what is necessary is that is it right for you? And there's a couple of things to look into that to find out: is it the right place for you, regardless of the role that you're stepping into? Do you bring your current talents to uh, a logistics or transportation, rather, a logistics company? Or do you want to change careers? I mean, we have a lot of people that do that. Uh, and so any of that could be part of the recipe what would bring you to success in a transportation and logistics company. And I'd love to turn it over to Amber, if that's okay. And talk about some of those tips to not only get rid of you, but once you're here, where we kind of see uh, some of the successful things that people do to, um, you know, make their mark in logistics. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, Adi. Yeah, yeah. so um, I guess let's start out with kind of just you know, tips for even getting into the industry or tips for applying or, um, and, and really, you know, it's not unlike how you would probably apply for other industries. Um, you know, you want to do your research. I think that's the, that's probably the biggest tidbit I could give. Um, you know, not all logistics companies are created the same necessarily. Um, and that's actually why I'm really happy I landed at Trailer Bridge. But, uh, but again, tips, you know, do your research. Uh, there's a lot of great platforms out there. Uh, I know we did an article about a, a year ago. I think our marketing department had put this together, but uh, you know, tips for landing that job. And in that article, it talks about different platforms you can visit. You know, you can do a Google search. Uh, LinkedIn is actually a great platform to be on uh, if you're up and coming, even recent graduate. Definitely make sure your LinkedIn profile is up to date. Um, and then outside of that, it's networking, um, taking a look for... Uh, what job is actually going to fit with what you're looking to do. I think Eric made a great point earlier, though. If you are new uh, to the logistics industry, try to look for a job that is going to have five different facets to it. That way you can kind of make that first experience in logistics a really broad one, because that's going to also help you in terms of career mobility within the organization. Uh, we actually at Trailer Bridge do a ton of internal promotions, yes. I know. Um, and I think a lot of that is people who actually start in some of our most entry level jobs, like the logistics sales and operations job, uh, where you can kind of learn a lot of different things at one time. So, um, but again, so I think just tips on landing you know the job that i think let's talk about interviews real quick i think you know coming to your interview and showing up with enthusiasm and energy is going to be really important jason brought up earlier the fact that we are a fast-paced industry um so we are we're looking for people who want to grow want to learn have that energy um to kind of keep up with the fast-paced you know momentum of this industry which is actually one of the things i think that makes it really great uh, what do you think about that? Or are there other tips you would add, Indy? You know, I would just be yourself, especially if you're looking for um, the right culture for you. You have to decide what that is. What is it you're trying to do at the point in your career that you're um, looking to make a jump or move to another company? And just like with any other company, moving to a logistic company, is that the culture that you're looking for? So you're right, Amber, research is a number one priority in that. Is it the company that you want to join do they have the culture that you think you're going to thrive in and i love what you said training and development is a big piece of that sure. Eric mentioned all those promotions that comes from the training and development absolutely yeah oh looks like we had a, a, a question pop all in. right would you I'm like to let you take oh, okay okay <laughs> so the, the question we got was you know what are you seeing in the market what makes the candidate stand out well, I think, you know, just making sure you kind of have a really nice, clean, put together resume um, is going to be important. I know in the article uh, that we did about a year ago, we also talked about cover letters. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I think it's important to make sure that if you are going to send a cover letter in, make sure that it is specific and tailored uh, to that particular company you're applying for, um, which again goes back to doing a lot of research, right? Um, but I think cover letters do help candidates stand out. So I think providing one of those is really good. 
Um, and then I think, you know, in that initial phone interview, uh, showing up again with that energy and enthusiasm, uh, being on time, uh, and, and then asking good questions. I think, you know, people sometimes underestimate the fact that an interview is actually a two way, you know, two way street, Absolutely. right? Uh, and again, you know, bringing those good questions to that interview kind of shows the company you did your research, right? Um, and that actually gets companies a lot more excited. Uh, and I think that that really makes a lot of candidates stand out. It does. You know, and I would add to be very authentic. It's important in both mm -hmm. directions that you understand uh, the company that you're interested in joining and that they really have the opportunity to get to know you. You're looking for something long term. I think hopes and for a lot of that authenticity is very, very important. And, you know, I think we look fun too. So oh, yeah. Fine. We love a good person. Gotta have fun. <laughs> All right. It seems like we have another question. Oh, here we go. Work life Keep balance. Keep those questions coming. It's important. How does trailer bring help employees? Well, I'll start this. And yeah, then if yeah, you want to yeah. um, tag the people once in a while, you know, life, life is messy and there's a lot going on um, at work and home. And so I think the way that we balance it is we try to make an atmosphere that people can get their work done in their work day. Um, we're not big on working a lot of extra hours here. I can't speak for all companies, but what we found is if people come in and they're excited, they love what they're doing, they're on fire for it, they get a lot done, they, and we train on the night and uh, find those job efficiencies that we can with systems and tools that help them do it, and then they go home and be at home, you know, so that there is that work-life balance. We also do a lot for employees. I mean, we, you know, I think like a lot of companies have great benefits to help with that. And we have, you know, counseling services can be important for those that find that um, needed. Do you have anything you want to add to that? Yeah, I, I would. Um, there's like a phrase that kind of comes to mind and it's, you know, do something you love and you'll never work a day in your life. And I think Trailer Bridge does a really good job of pouring into employees. Um, and again, I think because those employees are getting filled up at work, they're actually able to give back more in their personal lives, um, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Or at least that's just from my perspective. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. If you come to yeah. work and you're loving what you're doing and you're having a good time and you feel uh, recognized, appreciated, and rewarded for what you do, uh, that feels different on that drive home every day. Absolutely. So I think I can speak for us here. We, we do strive for that. Um, we're certainly not perfect, but I think that's something I feel every day for sure. and hopefully, you know, can uh, make that other people on the team. And when I say team, I mean, in the broad sense, globally here, we do our best to make that happen for them too. It's like we have oh, more. This well, is a great question, but I, I think you should definitely handle this Well, one. this is my passion, <laughs> which is similar to what Eric said. Do we offer training and development opportunities? Well, Yes. yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the most recent teams we've actually formed. Yep. And it is a passion of all of us here. You heard Eric mention that too. Honestly, you know, one thing I love about leadership here and that I'd love to hear from you too, Amber, is that our focus is how do we help people grow and develop into the career that they want, that they're going to be excited about. And that's, you know, that's just because that's how we want to work every day. So that's a huge focus. And if that's important to you, and I guess it is judging by your question, that's a question that I would ask before I even step in the interview. And that's a question I would research the answer to before I went any further. Did you have anything to add to that? Yeah, no, like Indy said, training and development is one of our newest teams. And uh, it, it's, it's just so phenomenal to watch everything they're putting out recently. So hats yeah. off to that team. It looks like another question actually well, came like, in a little bit on that. Listen, <laughs> yeah. I'm loving the training and development questions. Yeah. So. yeah. so I think our, our next question came up, which I think kind of uh, tails off this last, that okay. last question about training and development um, and how we get new hires up to speed. And this is um, such a great question because Trailer Bridge does a really uh, cool and still, still expanding onboarding program. Um, which I know Indy leads a lot, uh, you know, in terms of that team and, and handling onboarding. So I'll kind of let you describe it because I know it's, oh, okay. a, it's actually okay. expanded recently. I think it's, it's three, it days, three days now. It is uh, two and a half days. And okay. honestly, thank you, Amber. Yep. I love you for saying that, but I can take zero credit. This is all <laughs> on trading and development as well as uh, some of the folks on Amber's Rockstar team for talent acquisition. Uh, the, the onboarding starts right right off the bat, day one. And so that's really to bring everybody up to speed on the company, what our targets are, what we're aiming for, as well as some basic 
uh, coverage of our lines of service. And we certainly want to let people know what we think it's going to look like for them to um, be successful here. That's talking about our TB12. And for those of you who are watching today, if you haven't taken a look, those are our core values. Beyond that, there's an upskilling program. We do it every year. It's day. Upskilling is designed to the training process and expanding the skills as well as to prepare promotion. And I think the last piece of that uh, question of leadership opportunities, sure, we yeah. have our own in-house um, leadership development program that we run about once a year. And so when that comes about, and those are from nominations from the people going through it, that just kind of injects our leadership philosophy and people with comparison for success in that. Looks like we have another one. Yeah, here. I think it's directed straight at me. So thank you for that. Um, <laughs> so thinking back on the, our recent new hires, if they do, they have any qualities that are similar or or that stand out. Um, and I think this kind of goes back to an earlier question we had. So I think again, what makes candidates stand out, uh, in, and even recent new hires, I guess maybe this person once they start, I think curiosity uh, is huge. Uh, oh, yeah. And, you know, I think we want people that want to learn. So I think with recent new hires, just that person who's always curious and wanting to learn, which, you know, we, Trailer Bridge, of course, has a ton to offer because of our training and development team. But I would say curiosity. And that is a similar quality among different new hires that I think really uh, kind of sets them apart from others. Yeah. So. I would agree. Curiosity is big as well as that go-getter attitude Jason mentioned. Mm -hmm. I think you have to be hungry for it and, and certainly want it and know that it uh, aligns with you. So it looks like we're ready to start wrapping up. Oh, gosh, yeah. Um, final thoughts. Well, you know, mm -hmm. I think if there was one tip that I would give everyone to be successful, uh, you know, and it's kind of pulling together everything that Mitch and Jason, Eric, and my partner here, Amber, added, uh, you know, be passionate about what you do. If that's the logistics field or not, make sure that's, you know, it's you going and that you're passionate about the service and being service minded. That's a huge, huge piece that I think it's more and more a focus in the mm -hmm. logistics industry. Not that it wasn't before, but we're certainly seeing more of that. And I know I can speak for Trail Bridge. That's huge here. I think positive attitude and some high go-getter, as I mentioned, type A personality is good for a lot of jobs, but not necessarily for all jobs. What's important is that passion. And then the last thing I would say is, um, you know, be excellent in any job. Bring all that you have. Don't just bring a piece of it. Put all that you have into it. And the company that you're with should hopefully reward you for that and recognize that. My last piece would just be to care. That's the biggest part of customer service yeah, for me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Anything you want to add to that? Yeah, and communication. Don't underestimate, you know, underestimate the power of, you know, communication. Our industry thrives on that. I think that was another point Eric and, and Jason brought up a little while ago is uh, communication is so key for our industry. So I, I would say that's another tip I would give you uh, starting in logistics. Yeah, lots um, of communication. Yes, for questions. sure, for sure. But I, and I loved what you said as well. And, sure. you know, and then I guess just, um, you know, if you are interested, of course, with more questions, you know, uh, feel free to also send into your I a LinkedIn request. Um, if you're even particularly interested with opportunities with Trailer Bridge, because uh, yes, you're hiring um, <laughs> right now. So uh, feel free to send an email to our talent acquisition at trailerbridge.com email. Uh, and that will go to our entire recruiting team. Um, and we will be happy to kind of reach out to you and discuss uh, any opportunity with Trailer Bridge that you'd like to learn more about. Yeah. Absolutely. And, you know, just to wrap up, um, I think I can speak for Mitch, Eric, Jason, and Amber, and certainly myself when I say, gosh, thank you, everybody, for joining us today and for your interest in hearing us speak a little bit about not only the company that we love, but what we do. And we do really enjoy the logistics industry. We to hear from a lot of you. Uh, you know, if you enjoyed today's webinar, please let us know. Who knows? There could be another one coming your way yeah, soon. Hopefully. I don't know. <laughs> Take this on the road, guys. But uh, thank you again. And as Amber said, please do check us out online, our website, trailerbridge.com. And all of our opportunities are listed there. We would love to hear from you and love to talk more with you. And I would like those connections. So, of course, yeah. let's do that. Yes, let's throw our networks.
Awesome. <laughs> Thanks again for joining today. Thanks, everybody. See you it was next awesome. Time. <laughs>